Wake up! Traveler, wake up! Oh, thank goodness you're awake. Uh, Paimon has good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Ah, okay, okay, Paimon, sorry. Wake up, something's happened. Okay, uh, bad news first. The bad news is something weird's going on with this island. And the good news is... Uh, is... It seems like it has nothing to do with what we came across yesterday. Today is a different issue entirely. Ah, look! She's awake! Careful not to frighten her. She's probably just like the others. Ah, humans. Such delicate little things. How are you doing, mate? Feeling a little fragile? So, as you can see... The boat can talk. <laughs> no! Avoidance isn't gonna solve anything! Poor soul. Imagine being scared of talking squirrels and boats. Ha! <laughs> well, we can't blame her. After all, humans aren't quite accustomed to hearing things like us talk. Wait, have you guys always been able to talk? <laughs> of course! Otherwise, how would we communicate with others of our kind? So, in other words, we suddenly gained the ability to understand you? Huh. How strange. Maybe you've gained some intelligence. Congratulations. So you're finally awake. Time to rise and shine. Oh, you're back. Yes, we went for a little walk. The enchanting scenery and pleasant weather here soothes the body and mind. Everything is fine, except that some places are a little peculiar. Oh, <laughs> the servants of darkness have descended. Rejoice, for the return of the Imanok Reich is nigh. Main Fräulein means that this is an unexpected development, and she has never seen anything like this before. What she said. Oh, my apologies. Please take that as my own opinion. After last night, there have been some unusual spectacles on this island. Yes, swimming birds, flying squirrels, the sun and moon in the sky together. Some of these sights only lasted for a moment, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. I heard a strange flapping sound on the island, but didn't see a single flying creature around. There was also a peculiar floral scent on the wind. Though there are many flowers on this island, that scent did not resemble any of them. Seems to me like whatever these things are, they aren't visible to the naked eye. I tried to perform a divination, but my scry glass showed only a chaotic mess that was impossible to decipher. Oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Hmm. I had resolved to summon the Imanakreish in this land, but now we observe these puzzling phenomena. Could this be the spawn of the condemned trying to thwart my sacred endeavor? Wait, you don't think Alice could be behind all this, do you? But if it really was her, it wouldn't make sense to do all this. <laughs> ah, look at them, old chap. Seems we scared the pants off them. Aye, well, they've never seen anything like this before. This old boat sailed all over the briny seas in its time, and tried talking to many a sailor, too. But in all that time, not a single person has ever spoken back. Exactly! If it weren't for this environment, who would have thought humans would be able to chat with us? This environment? What do you mean by that? Oh, the environment? Could it be that... that the environment is what's interfering with my divinations? Ah, uh, even if you were... Dreams aren't supposed to become reality, right? And a dream won't make you suddenly understand boats and squirrels! Uh, ah! What's wrong? Look! Over there!
an illusion. No, it felt too real to be an illusion. Those things we saw flickering in and out, that's exactly what I saw earlier this morning. <gasps> Does this mean the Amanagrash is real? Wait, what? Ahem! Oh, behold! The Amanakreish has come, just as your princessin had prophesied. Come, my people, a new chapter awaits us. Indeed, main Fräulein. We all have witnessed this miracle with our own eyes, and now is the time to celebrate the creation of a new world. Rejoice! <laughs> Welcome to the Amanakreish! He looks so happy. Paimon doesn't have the heart to interrupt her right now. Oh, she doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. Does that just come with being an experienced adventurer, or...? If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? Um, hmm. Yes, you have a point. Right? So come on, Kazaha. Hit me. Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, how about you hit me instead? But that'll hurt real bad. Hey, there'll be no need for any of that. Just leave it to us. Um, hey, Traveler, can Paimon hit you? <laughs> I like your senses of humor, me hearties. An illusion. So, talking boats and squirrels are just an illusion to humans, huh? Now, now, it's understandable, old chap. Haven't you heard? As humans grow older, they forget many important things and lose many of their abilities. Aye, so they do. A pity, to be sure. Thinking back, in all those years I spent sailing with the fleet, I would have never imagined that one day I'd be laughing over something like this. Well then, me lads and lasses, don't you want to take a wee gander at all the places you're so curious about? Of course, but how do we get there? Look, here. At what? Blimey, at me, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the smartest chip you'll find in all of these parts. The names... are. Uh, just call me whatever takes your fancy. Don't you have a name? That I do. I just can't remember it. All I know is that I came here from Inazuma. In that case, Paimon shall name you... <gasps> Mitaburu! How's that? All the other ships in Inazuma seem to have names ending in Ru, too. Mitaburu. Ha! <laughs> That'll do nicely. You're lucky to have met me. I can sail through the choppiest seas with ease. There isn't a wave out there that can capsize me. So, come aboard, and I'll take you wherever you'd like to go. Ah, how very kind of you, old chap. Unlike that Animal Archon who abandoned us here. You know, the Animal Archon of Mondstadt. Don't you know? Some of these islands used to be Mondstadt's mountaintops. Once upon a time, the Animal Archon sliced them off to neaten the place up and chuck them into the ocean. My great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather uh, was on one of the mountaintops and got sent flying here along with it. Wretched Animal Archon. How could that happen? And we've been living here for generations since then. <laughs> Fortunately... There were a few other squirrel families that got stranded on these islands as well, so we built ourselves a kingdom here. The good thing is that there are no predators or competitors around. All the pine cones on this island are ours for the taking. The bad thing is, we're stuck here. Didn't see that coming. Sounds like the Imranachtreich is a kingdom of squirrels. <gasps> Hold thy tongue! Paimon, please do not make such slanderous statements. The Imanakreish is, of course, a kingdom of night ravens. Hey, lad. Yes, you. 
You're from Inazuma, aye? That makes us brothers, ha! <laughs> Every young lad of Inazuma has to pluck up the courage to set sail on an adventure one day. So, are you coming? <laughs> to set sail is to leave one's homeland and travel far away. Aye. You need lots of courage, and just a dash of heartlessness. Cause once you leave, you may never return. But if you stay, you're forever a prisoner in your own heart. <laughs> Inspiring words, Mitoboru. And you're right. The Wanderer's spirit runs in my blood. I'll go with you. My friends, are you coming too? I want to take a look at the strange phenomena on that island. Also, I smell ancient timber and waterproof varnish on this boat. The scent is indeed from Inazuma, so I believe he speaks the truth. Huh. What does everyone think? Oz, lay down the gangplank! Thy princessin shall take to the seas! Let's all go! It'll definitely be an experience! Ha! <laughs> Great! And we're off! Safe travels! <laughs> well, I certainly didn't expect to see you here. This is a bonsai pot, right? It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. This bonsai was in my family for many generations. I saw it once in a Tenryo Commission warehouse, but it looked quite different from how it does now. At that time, there was a withered tree inside. Why would someone keep the plant in there if it's dead? It's a way of sending a secret message. It indicated that there was something hidden inside the flower pot. There was a letter buried down at the bottom which told of an ancient secret in my clan. I did not take the bonsai with me after reading the letter, which means it should still be in the warehouse now. I wonder who removed the plant and placed the pot here. So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kazaha, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. Though I still don't understand why it has appeared here, I can give that a try. <laughs> Paima knew it wasn't gonna be that simple! Huh? Oh, yeah! Everyone's here, except for Kazuha! Kazuha! Where are you? Are you okay? No response. Well... Let's keep an eye out for him. Look at the decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous maze. It's somebody's home. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place I shall surely uncover. Looks like this letter was written by Kazuha's father. So keeping bonsai plants really does run in the family. Hmm. But the fact that we're even here and could see his father's notes, it just seems so unbelievable. Oh, there you are. Huh? Where did you all go? This place is a maze. We all got trapped inside, except for you. I've been stuck in this room the whole time and can't seem to find a way out. I have to say, this place looks a lot like my childhood bedroom. If this is your home, why would you be trapped here? Is the maze trying to keep you out? Hmm. <sighs> 
It appears that this whole maze is modeled after my family home. And all the conversations you heard in there are in fact words once spoken by my father and grandfather. You said that the maze is trying to keep me out. Indeed, I'm the only one unable to explore this place. I think these unusual structures are some kind of mirage. According to what Kazuha said, all this seems to be constructed based on Kazuha's memory. Hmm. But why should Lord Kazuha be the only one excluded? Maybe that comes from me too. To me, what is past is gone. Everything in the world is guided by its own rules, and as for people, we can never relive the past. I think that this belief is the reason why the Mirage was keeping me out. Ah, oh, I can get behind that. It's a very sensible way of looking at things. All our thoughts have consequences. I don't consider it strange, and I don't think it's anything you should be worried about. Hmm. <laughs> We got in here by touching the bonsai, didn't we? So perhaps, if we touch it again... We're back! Hey, look! That whole mountain's changed completely! Wait... <sighs> Everyone... I might have an explanation. The changes in the mirage could be related to the bonsai. My father once mentioned that this pot was originally part of a collection belonging to my great-grandfather. He adored his bonsai and always took great care of them. When our family fell upon hard times, my grandfather traveled far and wide looking for a way to save the clan. However, during that time, my great-grandfather became gravely ill. He knew my grandfather had no interest in bonsai. So before his death, he gave most of his carefully crafted bonsai away. This is the only one he retained. To hide the letter with that secret in it, right? Yes, and to give his son something to remember him by. My grandfather returned quickly as he could, but my great-grandfather had already passed away. They never got the chance to say goodbye to each other before the end. After that, my grandfather would spend long periods of time standing in front of this bonsai, lost in thought. Eventually, he started to make his own bonsai. Unlike his father, he preferred arranging rock gardens instead of plants. Perhaps influenced by my grandfather, my father also took a liking to crafting bonsai. Back then, our courtyard was filled with all kinds of them. And this flower pot was passed down to me as a family treasure. It's certainly no coincidence that it appeared here and became the entrance to the mirage. It's almost as if... It's giving me a chance to make up for past regrets. There was once a time when the Kaidaharas were an illustrious clan in Inazuma. After the Raiden Gokaden incident, our clan's fortunes took a turn for the worse. By the time of my generation, our downfall was complete. Later, I fled Inazuma as I didn't want to be arrested. With no one left in the Kaidahara clan, the authorities confiscated everything in our home, including this bonsai. Like my ancestors before me, I think I'd like to try it out for myself. Recreate a favorite scene from my travels, and place it into this pot. Oh. Since the contents of this bonsai affect the mirage, I'd at least like to try my hand at making something. But what style? Should I use plants for the bonsai, like my great-grandfather? Or rocks, like my father and grandfather? <laughs> Perhaps a rock garden would suit me better. So do you need any supplies to make this bonsai? I think I'll need a set of tools and some rocks that can be carved and made into decorations. Got it. We'll help you look. We might just get lucky. If the pot's here, then surely other stuff related to crafting bonsai can't be far away. I concur. 
Lord Kazuha, take heart in your search, for my retinue and I shall help you retrieve your missing treasures. Thank you, everyone. Wow, it's a new place! As was the case last time, only Lord Kazuha is missing. Don't worry, leave it to us. This will do. Ah, Kazuha. You've come just at the right moment. What do you think of this rock carving? It's very intricate. I based it on a mountain scene I saw in a book. You know, there are nations in this world where the mountains reach all the way up into the clouds. <sighs> if only I had the chance to see them with my own eyes. Father, you can go anywhere whenever you want. That's not true. Though the Kaedehara clan is far from what it used to be, I still bear all the same responsibilities as the clan heads before me. But then again, continuing in the way of our forefathers, sacrificing everything for our declining clan, <sighs> is it really worth it? But I... I don't understand. Kazuha, there's one thing I want you to always remember. Family ties are important, but you ought to not let them hold you back. Family only exists because of the people in it. If we are unhappy, how can we hope to build a joyful one? The events of the past have had a profound impact on our family, but they are not your burden to carry. If you ever grow tired of this tedious life, just drop everything and go off on a journey. See the world. Remember, Kazuha, don't let yourself get tied down in life. Yes, Father. I'm sorry, but I just don't understand. Kazuha, have you forgotten our promise? You really want to give it all up? But... but even if we're having a rough time, you still have me by your side. Can't I be of any help? When you were my age, you were already helping Grandfather out, Am I so incompetent that I'm a disappointment to you, or... Kazuha! <sighs> now you're blaming yourself for all of this? That's why I failed you as a father. The Kaedehara clan has been paying the price for our past mistakes ever since your great-grandfather's generation. To this day, we have never fully recovered from it. Though we are a family of bladesmiths, you don't have to devote your life to the family craft. If a wounded animal wants to escape from a trap, it has to sacrifice the hind leg that was caught. You might think of this as a loss, but staying in the trap has far more deadly consequences. Enough now, Kazuha. As the head of the family, I failed to revitalize our clan. You never blamed me for not giving you the life promised to you by our heritage. And I'm grateful enough for that. All these generations of suffering. Let's end them today. From now on, live your life with no burdens. Don't worry. I'll carry the blame for abandoning our family business. Father. Please don't. You should not be to blame for not upholding our family name. Even if that day comes, let me share the burden with you. Let's just wait and see. Sooner or later, I will have to lead the Kaidahara clan. When the time comes, I'll deal with all our problems. Thought we might find you trapped here again. <laughs> yeah, it seems those are the rules. We entered that maze in the Mirage again, but the scene was different this time. The mood was more deflated, and the place more humbly furnished. Yes, that makes sense. What you saw was the Kaidahara clan in decline. We saw you in the Mirage too, but you looked a little different than now. Indeed, I most certainly agree. Compared to the Lord Kazuha before us now, the Mirage we saw appeared lost. 
with the burden of fate weighing heavily upon him. I can confirm that. His fate was a heavy burden indeed. That means I am older and wiser now. I'm sorry you had to see my less mature former self. For a long time after leaving Inazuma, I've lived the life of a drifter. But this is no bad thing, because I learned much from the experience. I wish that I could have met my past self, too. If he saw me, I know that he would understand. Life is a long journey. And that's why I must travel far and wide. Just as I thought, the bonsai is the key to entering the mirage. Come on, let's continue looking for the rock garden. What's happened here? Everything is broken! Alas, the loftier the clan, the more devastating the fall. Broken into pieces and not a single soul around. This must be the way things ended. Come on, let's get moving. Kaidahara, that's you, right? Get on board, I'll get you out. But why are you helping me? I'm a wanted fugitive. Obviously the Yashiroka... <clears throat> An anonymous financial sponsor wants you to get out safely. But there's only so much they can do. After this, you'll be on your own. Hey, buddy. You okay? Need a ride or something? <laughs> Pirates? <laughs> you could call us that. So, you coming or not? Kazuha! We found you! Ah, good timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahara clan's bonsai? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> How fares thy mood? Main Fräulein inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha, hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that! <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. There was supposed to be a dead plant in that flower pot. However, there was nothing there. While we were separated, I had a lot of time to reflect. I think I finally understand now. The mirage is me. The empty flower pot represents the state of my heart. When the heart is clear, the world is too. And when the heart is unladen, the same is true. Clear and unladen. That describes how I feel right now. Although I would not say there are no regrets in this. To be unladen is also to be empty. That's why this bonsai appeared as part of my mirage. It gave me a chance to fulfill my wishes. I never realized that deep down in my heart, I also wanted to make my own bonsai. Perhaps this is what it really means to keep Kaidahara traditions alive. Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. You saw my past self and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves, but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. So please believe me when I say that I've already come a long way, and I intend to go further still. 
I will always treasure your support. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. getting kind of sleepy. Everyone must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> oh, what's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. <laughs> mean Fräulein, are you alright? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Yes, main Fräulein. Hmm. I'll see if I can find something for us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help! Maybe we should too! Whoa, hey! <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but, uh... Her highness looks kinda gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. Alright, we'll prepare the food. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass by one of those abandoned campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow, that's such a nice idea! You might not be a chef, Shinyan, but you sure do know how to keep the diners happy! Oh, shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shinyan someone they can rely on. We feel the same way about you too, Kazuha! <laughs> we sure do! Hmm... Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else too? I agree, but I wonder whose mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own mirage, if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait! You actually want something like this to happen with you too? Oh heck! Any mirage to do with me would probably be music related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? <laughs> Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism. Shinyan rocks! Oh, um, uh, Traveler, Paimon wants to try some of the fruit growing on that cliff over there. <laughs> Let's go pick some. So... Those strange houses today, huh? And, uh, a mirage bonsai? Oh, basically lots of weird stuff today. Um, 
Do you think we should tell Venti about it? There's no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mona! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys! I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scry glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now. So you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. <sighs> seems like similar things happen every time I'm with you. I'll attempt divination, read the signs, zero in on the target, then solve the problem. You're surrounded by all kinds of friends, secrets, and destinies. It's incredible. No, you are incredible! You helped Fischl and us solve that Leonard situation! All things considered, I suppose. Let's hope we can all stick together and resolve this, like we did last time. When you say together, do you mean the two of you? Or all three of us? <laughs> okay, okay, the three of us then. Sometimes Paimon offers an insightful perspective that can be very helpful to me. Really? Aww, Paimon's starting to like you a lot, genius astrologist Mona! Yes, that's the perspective I'm talking about. You'll never meet another astrologist as clever and charming as me. <laughs> yeah, everything about you's great. Except for, um, please don't laugh like Fischl again. Ever. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Friends' habits rub off on you when you spend a lot of time together, don't they? <laughs> uh. I'll keep observing the stars. Keep in touch, Traveler. <laughs> <laughs>